grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. I have a simple subject today that's been on my mind, and uh, mainly because it's been on the minds of a lot of people around me over these last several weeks, and that is the subject of doubt. Having doubts in our, in our lives, we all doubt certain things, and uh, doubts creep into us when we're in a transition, when we're in a trouble, when we are uh, in movement between one thing and, and the next. Uh, doubts creep in. But I wanted to say that uh, doubt is not the opposite of faith. Uh, just because you have doubts, uh, doesn't mean that your faith is crumbling and falling apart. Uh, just because you have doubts doesn't mean that what you doubt is actually the truth. Doubt is not the opposite of faith. Faith in the Lord is His gift to us. God is present with us, whether we understand it or not. God is present with us and loves us, whether we even believe it or not. It is the truth. And having doubts doesn't mean that we have strayed away from the faith. Doubt is simply uh, God working within us to help lead us along the path in life. Uh, Frederick Buechner, the wonderful Episcopal uh, priest and author, uh, said, doubt is the ants in the pants of our faith. <laughs> doubt is what keeps us alert to what's going on. Doubt keeps us open to the possibility of God showing us new things in our life. The opposite of faith is certainty. When we've already figured everything out in our own mind, and we can never do that, we tell ourselves we have, and that closes us off to the possibility of God revealing uh, more to us about this wonderful journey through life that he shares with us. Uh, doubt is not the opposite of faith. Uh, Doubt is what God uses within us to bring us closer to himself. You know, I was playing at the beginning of a wonderful song that John Lennon wrote back in 1963, came out in 1964, called If I Fell. And it's a, a beautiful love song. But uh, in so many of John Lennon's songs, he had great doubts about what he was doing was even right. And even in this great love song, If I Fell, He's expressing doubts about whether he's going to get crushed again in his relationship. And he writes words, uh, lyrics that said, uh, If I trust in you, oh please, don't run and hide. If I love you too, oh please, don't hurt my pride like her. Uh, if I fell in love with you, would you promise to be true and help me understand? Because I've been in love before. And I found that love was more than just holding hands. If I give my heart to you, will you crush it? John Glennon expressed great doubts about himself in his, uh, in his music and indeed in his life. And so many of us do. We doubt that we have the strength to go on. We doubt uh, that what we've always held to be true uh, is even real anymore. But remember the story of doubting Thomas. Jesus' wonderful apostle who had his own doubts. He did not witness the first resurrection appearances of Jesus. He was not there when they happened. And when uh, others tried to share secondhand accounts to him, he said, no, I'm not going to believe until I experience myself. Those doubts were not weakness for Thomas. Those doubts were God keeping him open so that he could experience more. And that's what doubts are for us. They're God keeping us open and alert to what he's doing in our lives. Don't doubt your own abilities. Don't doubt your faith. Trust in God and let him lead you forward. And remember that he loves you, whether you experience that love or not. He's with you, whether you feel his presence or not. He's there. That's the truth. We can't change that truth. And we may have doubts, but remember the doubts are the ants in our pants that keep us alert and focused on what's going on. And I hope you have a brilliant, blessed day today and that you can be open to what God's doing in your life right now. And remember that 
what he's doing in your life is that he's loving you and leading you forward closer to himself. Have a blessed day today, and God willing, I will see you here again tomorrow.